For this example, we want to find the surface area of the surface defined by this function, f of x, y equals x squared plus 2y, over the region, triangular region with these vertices. So we should start by sketching this region. So this is again in the xy plane for the domain. The vertices are 0, 0, so that's the first one. Then over to 1, 0, it's in the x direction over here. And then up to 1, 1, which is this point right here. So um, the region, then D, is this region right here. Um, sketching it as type 1, we might decide we want to change it to type 2 depending on what the integrand ends up being. Because remember, what we're integrating is not this function itself, but the R of the uh, surface area element, which is ds. Remember, ds is 1 plus the partial derivative with respect to x squared plus the partial derivative with respect to y squared, and then all times dA. And we'll take the double integral of this function, this, this integrand, over this region here. So we obviously need to start by computing our, inter our derivatives. The derivative of f with respect to x is just 2x. Derivative of f with respect to y is just 2. And we put these together to form our ds. It's got to be a capital S. ds is then going to be 1 plus 4x squared, square the whole thing, plus 4. And this becomes ds equal to f square root 5 plus 4x squared dA. Forgot my dA over here. It was there, though. Um, and so this is what we need to integrate, TBI, to be integrated. Okay? Our integral becomes, when we write it down then, the surface area, S, double integral over this region, D. We're going to have to decide how to attack this integral. Um, double integral over this region, D, of square root 5 plus 4x squared, dA. And now we look at this region and we say, okay, well, this I drew it as type 1. It looks like it could be type 1 or type 2. It's just a triangle, so we can do it either way. Um, but this integral, we notice, is a square root of something with an x squared. And so we look at this equation. This is y equals x, this line. It goes from 0, 0 to 1, 1. So that's just y equals x. Um, and so we see then that if we do this as a type 1, our y would go from 0 to x and then after that, our x would go from 0 to 1. All right. As a type 2, it would be the other way around. So as a type 2, x would go from y to 1, and then y would go from 0 to 1. Okay, and so these are our two options. This is not it's one of these, one, one or the other. If we do this as a type 2, we'll have to integrate with respect to x first, and that's going to require us to do a trig sub. Um, it might be, hey, we can do it, it's not the worst scenario, um, but it might be a little bit of work. If we do it as a type 1 integral, we integrate with respect to y first, and that this is just a constant with respect to y, and it's going to give us an x if we think ahead. It's going to give us an x here, and so I think type 1 is the way that we want to go with this one. All right. If you do it as type 2, you will get the same answer. It might just be a little bit more work. So I want to do this as a type 1. Here are the bounds. Here's the integrand. I'm going to get a clean sheet of paper to actually do the computation. All right, so our double integral then, I'll just rewrite the integrand, is with its um, double integral over the region D of square root of 5 plus 4x squared dA. We decided to do this as a type 1. So our inner integral is going to go from 0 to x, square root 5 plus 4x squared dy. And then our outer integral will be from 0 to 1 dx. So that, that's how we do this as a type 1 integral. As we mentioned when we thought through which, which way to do this in the first place, this is a constant with respect to y, this integrand. It has no y's. So when we do the first of the iterated integrals, we just end up with y times the square root of 5 plus 4x squared, and we plug in y equal to 0 and x as the boundaries for y before we do the next iterated integral. When those go in, we end up with integral from 0 to 1, x times the square root of 5 plus 4x squared minus 0, so that part's gone, 
And now this integral can be done by a u sub. So we make the substitution, u is equal to 5 plus 4x squared. Automatically choose, we, we don't choose du, we have to compute du. This becomes 8x dx. That's okay, we can deal with it. Multiply by 8 on the inside, divide by 8 on the outside. So there's our du. And then the other thing we need to do is change our limits of integration. So when x is 1, our u is equal to 9. When x is 0, our u is equal to 5. Okay, so the surface area is now equal to the integral, uh, 1 8 times the integral, from 5 to 9, square root u du. And that's it. So this becomes 1 8 times u to the 3 halves times 2 thirds. Plug in 5 and 9 for the u's. This is obviously 1 over 12, reduces, um, times the square root of 9 cubed is 27, but then it's minus 5 root 5. All right, and so there is the surface area of the surface given by this function, x squared plus 2y. That's a piece of a paraboloid over this triangular region right here, triangular domain. So that's our answer, 1 12th 27 minus 5 root 5.